Okay. What's up, guys? So, <laughs> I wanted to come back in here. I don't know how many times I've been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in videos today. Um, or to the camera, I should say. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to put all this in one video. I'm going to see how long I was uh, running my mouth and then I can decide which way to put it up for you guys to see. <sighs> but I would say, what was it? It was fairly right around the time everything hit with the coronavirus. As a matter of fact, it was the first week and a half. And I knew going in, I was like, okay, I'm not scared. I'm not afraid because I've been prepping myself for this basically by having a strong foundation with God, right? One, which is the best way to be ready for anything, good or bad, you know what I mean? As long as you got God, He gonna make everything okay. Like, seriously. But, I wasn't scared going in, and I said, you know, and, and actually I saw a couple of my um, casino friends from back home, from back in Indiana. I saw them basically saying the same thing and thinking the same way is, you know, don't use this time to just sit around and do nothing. You know, especially the way I was thinking about it is, is... If you don't have any kids at home, this is your prime time. This is your prime time to do and research and look into and discover and examine and um, in, indulge in. You know, this is, this is your time right now to do that. You got nothing but time on your hands. So, to the parents that's out there raising kids, helping to raise kids, whatever, woo, woo, woo. You say, well, I don't have time for that because I got to, excuse me, I got to tend to myself because you got kids. You got to do yourself first so you strong enough to do them. I always tell y'all that and you have to do that so you have to um, take care of yourself first do what you need to do by yourself first right and then okay you say well I got the schoolwork to do with the kids how I'm gonna do that too I told y'all, you got to sit down here, make you a schedule. If you got to write it down, if you, like me, because <laughs> I'm to the point right now, I got to write it down, honey. It's, I got to write it down, I just do. Um, write it down so you, you have that schedule. Just like... Many of us have a nine to five, whatever time to whatever time, right? In our in our everyday lives, you got eight hours still. You still got those eight hours to do something. So carve that time out. If you ain't got to carve out all of it, if you don't want to, because most of us really after. After five, six hours, we, we, it, it's, we done anyway, right? Okay, so now you could take, instead of eight hours, now you could take your uh, six hours. That'd be, try to be your work time. Even if you got to dissect that time up, still get your six hours of work in somewhere. 
somewhere. Look, my bed is made up. Make up your bed every day. Do you do your same routine that you was doing when you was going to work. Do that at home. Use that for something productive at home. My and I thank God. Oh, I thank God for the mother that I have. That woman is a blessing. She always taught us, if you doing nothing, you wasting time. If you got time to waste, find, you better find something to do. And that's how we live. That's how we operate. Me and my sisters and my brother, that's how we operate. We operate in that form and fashion. And it's gone down generations. She's passed this knowledge down to the younger generations through us. And that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to pass that knowledge on. You don't get it and then don't pass it on to the little ones. Come on, man. Anyway. Use this time to find out what it is you want to do with your life. Because I'm looking, we coming out of this. And it's all in what, how you going to look when we come out of this thing. How we going to look when we begin to turn the corner to whatever is down that road. Nobody knows what's down that road. That's the reason why we're afraid. That's the reason why you have the fear. We, and that's what God is trying to tell us. He, he said you become complacent in my presence and in your life. And no, we can't have that. I need some fire. I need to see some people with some fire in them. That's what I want to see. And that's what God was, is telling us. I need the fire back under you. Like you once had it before. I need to see that. And so. That's the reason why. All this is transpiring. And we have to use it. For what he has given it to us. For. And she used to. Always tell us. Don't waste time. We cannot waste time in this, people. If you want to do some research, if you want to, you know, if you find out what you love, this is the time to do that. Find out what you love. Look it up. See if it's something that can can possibly, whoo, thank you, Father, that could, you could possibly have, make money from online. Because this is where we... Oh, Jesus. This is which way we're getting ready to go right now. Most everything is going to be done online. Oh, my gosh. Don't waste this time, y'all. Don't waste this time. Do whatever it is that you feel like. That's why you got to get in the Word. That's why you got to chase after Him. You got to chase after the Lord so you can find out what the heck am I supposed to do when we turn this corner? What am I supposed to do? What if your job ain't that when you get when when we turn this corner? What you going to do? That's why you got to put your faith in him. If you put your faith in him, you don't have to worry about that because he already knew we was going to have to turn the corner. So he already got you set up. You already set up. All you got to do is do what he asked you to do. That's all you got to do. And it's only this much. a little bit of faith. Just a little bit. And he'll take it from there. (sighs) 
Don't waste this time, y'all. I've already, like I said, I've already been working on this for the last... Because we going into a month now. The last week and a couple days. Well, seven days. Well, I've been researching stuff. Just in case. Because most of y'all know the industry I'm in. Uh, we, we, we solid as a rock. And I want to believe that. But what if, what if it's not that way? Because I keep getting that in my spirit. That it, it ain't, it ain't. If it do, not in the capacity that we used to, maybe. Who knows? Because, look, let me tell you something. And this the real, real right here. As long as I've been in this field, that was one of the reasons why I left Indiana in uh, 2012. This is the reason why. Because I always felt like <sighs> this field that I work in is, is, is not right. For God. You know. Ooh we. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And when I left. Horseshoe. Before I left. I talked to my mom about it. And I. I asked her. I said mama. Is it wrong. Or is it not wrong. I don't know. Because I'm conflicted. Because there's nowhere in the Bible. Why did I just fold that like that? <laughs> it's nowhere in the Bible. That says that that is wrong. That being in the casino is wrong. I, don't, I didn't find it. But it never sat right inside of me. Even, even where I'm at now. It never found. It never set right inside of me. So I don't know. You know, and people will ask, you know, well, will you go back? I mean, because this is a question we have to ask ourselves now. Would you go back to a place where... Uh, there is an abundance of, ooh, child, maybe I better leave this alone. Because I don't want to sound ungrateful, you know what I mean? And it's not to the people that I work with. Yeah, let me, let me leave this alone right here. Oh, God telling me to be quiet right now. So, um, yeah, anyway, I can still finish the ending point. He just telling me don't talk about that right now. Um, don't waste this time. Use this time for good. Ask yourself this question. How am I going to look? When I come out of this. Am I able to change. According to. What it's going to look like. When we come out of this. And will you be willing. To. Make a change. Once we come out of this. Those three questions. Those three questions. Ask those of yourself. And let me get off of here. Because um, I need to get this stuff handled. And um, 
try to get me a decent oh child well forget that 1205 um <laughs> yeah forget that cuz I gotta finish this get in the shower and then go to bed so anyway y'all let me get off of here so I can do just that um uh, When you hear the words, stay positive. Hear it. Hear it. Feel it. Not just words, but feel it. And then be it. Wow. That was powerful, huh? <laughs> Alright, let me get out of here, y'all. Um, Stay washing your hands. Stay fancy and stay home. I see y'all on the flip side.